Good morning, folks. Today I wanted to make a video about how you can use AppScript to send an email to different people with the contents of a form submission based on one of the questions that are in the form. So in this example, we have a department, my HR, my IT, school AB, whatever. And then we have a couple of questions that we have. You could have, of course, this could be bigger than this. This is just what I'm using as an example. And what I want to be able to do is when I submit this form, let's come over here to the form submission sheet. What I want to be able to do is when I submit the form, I want to add an email address based on this department. So the first step in doing this is, of course, you know, build your form with your questions and have a question somewhere in there that relates to um, uh, how you're going to uh, choose a different email address. In this case, I'm using a department. And then the second step is after you build the form and, you know, collect maybe one, uh, one form submission just so you have some information on here. A couple of things to notice on mine, I actually um, renamed form responses one to issues. I like to do that. It makes it easier sometimes to uh, write my formulas. Not necessary, but that's uh, what you can see I've done here. And it's important because we use this sheet name um, on our script. So what you can see here is on sheet two, I have just a simple list, my HR, IT, school, and so forth and the appropriate email address, the person to whom you would send that email based on that department. So if we take a look at that, what we're doing here, I'm using a formula here, and this is using an array literal array formula and an if error uh, nesting. And you can see when we take a look at that, that you can, you can see that this formula is creating a list of email addresses. These email addresses are not part of what's being submitted on the form, but I'm doing a VLOOKUP on them. And I um, uh, just have one formula in cell F1. And in that formula, we're doing an IF error, an array formula. Then we do a VLOOKUP on whatever is found here, B2B whatever we find in B. We do a VLOOKUP here on sheet two and we return column two. And that's all done with this single formula right here. And when you build these formulas like this, the, remember that you start with the array literal, the open curly bracket, you use the semicolon to uh, separate off your header, and then you put in your formula and be sure to close it with the curly bracket. So there we go. Now if I add a new uh, if I add a new uh, form submission, it's going to automatically automatically look up the email address. So let's take a look at that. Here's my form. Uh, here's our form edit page and then here's my form submission. We'll go ahead this time let's do school A. My issue is, you know, we have a problem, whatever, and <clears throat> it's involving several different people, and it took place in the cafeteria, just as an example. Let's submit that. Let's take a look at our form, uh, and here we have, you can see we submitted it today, School A, and School A brings back the address 12 to lgsd.us, and you can see that. Now, if I were able to, if I were to log into that account, I could show you the email address that, or the email that I just received. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm recording now on my phone and you can see on my account, lgsd.us, I have a new form submission. And you can see what I've received is, it's an email from me to myself. My uh, subject is new issue submitted. And you can see I'm getting all the data that was submitted on the form, the timestamp, the department, the issue, 
the people involved, and the location. So I wanted to share this to show you how we actually work with the emails then that are sent, and in this case, it was sent to that user. So how do we do that with the app script? Well, let's take a quick look. Um, we have, uh, I have the app script page open, and this is a fairly simple app script. Uh, let me go ahead and put that away and show you if I'm on the actual file, I would go to extensions, app script. Now I've already written this, so I'm not going to take the time to uh, write it out from scratch, but I will go over the app script. So you would create a new app script. You could make a copy of this um, app script that I have here. And this is, this is a function that's do, doing a non-edit function. And that's uh, why we use the E in there. So the send form email. Let's go through the line. So the first constant I set up is the spreadsheet, get the active spreadsheet. Then we want to get the name of the form response sheet, which I had pointed out I had renamed to issues. So I'm going to get that sheet. And then I want to get the email address. And the email address is going to that sheet, getting the range, the last row, the last column. I want to get one row, and I want to get one column, and I want to get the value. And that's going to bring me in that script, it's going to bring me this value. The next one is to get the headers. Now the headers are that sheet, and then we're getting the range of uh, row one, column one, one row, one, you know, however many columns, get the, getting the last column, and getting those values. And what that's going to collect for us is timestamp, department, issue, people involved in location. We're going to grab those headers. And then we are setting up a, a for loop, essentially, where we're going to take the values. So the values is equal to what's submitted, those values. And then we're going to use uh, an HTML body to put this back into a, uh, a format that will work in our email. And we're looping through this and going, so for each element, for each element of the form, which would be this, the department, the issue, the people involved, uh, so forth, for each element, we're going to take the label, which is the headers, and we're going to get the data, which is the values. And then the HTML body of that email is going to be an unordered list, and then a list item of the label plus a colon plus the data and the list. And then we end the unordered list. So that's going to create, it's going to loop through that and, and basically, as we saw in the email, create the header colon data for each element in the form to send email to the email address. Well, the email address we defined here as that last column and got the value of that. Then we're putting in whatever you would like for your subject, and that's it. It's a fairly simple script. So let's take a look here um, one last time. I'm going to, this time, I'm going to submit another response, and this time, let me check my sheet. I'm on my Redtail Fan account, so let's look and see here. Redtail Fan is my IT, so we're going to have IT. Um, you know, my computer is broken this morning, and uh, a student, and uh, it's, it'll go, it's the, just the principal in this case, and you know, whatever. That might not make sense there. But I'm going to go ahead and submit that. I'm going to come back here quickly to my email, and I'm going to wait for uh, that email to come in. I'll refresh here real quick. There we go. So this is my defaulted Redtail fan email. You can see there's my timestamp. I got the IT department. And as we can see from our script here, the IT department is going to send to that address. And that's the format that we're going to have. Now we could do more, make this more sophisticated with what would happen with this email. We could add information that would be pushed out here in the script. There are other ways of doing this kind of project. I, um, you know, you can use a, a third-party add-on called Form Mule. 
and it would do this for you, but it's really pretty simple to build this yourself. A couple of uh, things to understand. What I had pointed out is that you would open up from the sheet, you would go to your app script, you would copy and paste this app script code, you would have to be sure to rename the sheet by name to whatever your sheet name is. And the other piece that you might change in here, um, actually I don't think you would need to change anything else because what I noticed is that if I actually added more questions to this, it's gonna automatically on, sheet, uh, on the form response sheet push the new questions here and my email address is gonna keep being pushed to the last column. So I think the script would work regardless, but that would be one thing to check. Where is that email address? Well, it's in the last row, last column. Um, and then if you wanted a different header or subject line, you would change that. And it's also important, this function, send form email, and it could be named anything, that's what I've named it. It's important that you set a trigger. So when you're working in your app script, one of the final steps would be to set a trigger. And you can see I have set a trigger, and let's see if we can edit this trigger so you can see what that looks like. We're gonna send the form email from the Fred spreadsheet on form submit. And that trigger needs to be added for this to automatically work, as you saw in the example where you submit the form and then Dwelter Redtail Fan gets it. And in the example on my phone, you saw where dwelter.lgsd.us got the other email based on what is chosen as the department. Hope this helps and uh, let me know if the 